Uh, Matthias, uh, Leon was just out here saying that he felt like your team generated enough, especially in that third period, just round into a hot goalie. How did you see this one play? Yeah, I agree. I think that uh, obviously we've played this team a bunch over the years and uh, we know how they play. And, and some, sometimes and when they're on their game, it's hard to uh, generate a lot of offense and maybe those <coughs> quality looks. It feels like you're in their zone a lot, but um, you're mostly on the perimeter. But I did, uh, as you said, I thought we had some good looks. I thought we had some chances. But yeah, they had a, they had a goaltender and we'll have to learn from this game because I'm sure we'll see these guys again and um, make sure we find ways to, to create even more. You guys were creating all right to the final buzzer. Did you feel any sense of frustration as the night went on when you're running into a hot goal? Like no, I think I thought we were we were pressing, we were pressing, we were going. Um, spent about almost all of that third period in their um, zone and just trying to get looks, trying to get shots through, trying to create some offense. We had some looks, but um, yeah, obviously we gotta we gotta score goals to win games. How's the eye feeling? Pretty good. It's, it comes with the job, I guess. <laughs> Apparently, this is the first game since 1944 that ended with no penalties and one goal. <laughs> I mean, it seemed like a lot happened in the game. Like, there's a lot of action. It wasn't a bad yeah, game, but no. no penalties, one goal. What? How's that happen? <laughs> I guess you'll have to ask the referees about that. I don't know. Um, I didn't. I, I, this is a, it was a well-checked game, I thought. Um, a couple, a couple things that could have been, I guess, called, but. I, kept, I thought they kept it pretty pretty even. Obviously, they did n nothing for each. So, um, yeah, obviously that's that's going to happen. And um, again, we we got a we know we got a lot of offensive guys that can score goals in here. So it's on to us to to find ways to do it. And unfortunately tonight, their goaltender got the best of us. I'm not saying you guys didn't create chances, and then you did. Did how did you find like it, it was trying to penetrate through that like you know in the third period? It seemed like they were. But kept it pretty close to the house. Did you find that, or was it uh, a little bit challenging to kind of break through? Yeah, I mean, again, we've played these guys a ton over the year, and we know how they play. Um, they are hard. To, they usually keep their D-men in front of the net, and uh, it's hard to get in there to get good looks. But um, I thought we had a couple of rebounds there that easily could have resulted in goals. And um, their goalie was quick over to, to get get saves. But um, again, I think. We're obviously going to see them more. Uh, we'll, we'll take this game, learn from it, see. There's always some things you can do more and always things you can do better to, to create more and generate more and um, get more high danger looks, I'd, I guess. So, um, yeah. You've talked a lot about defending. How did you find like your team did, like in, especially in a game like this, where you want to make sure you are defending? How did you find Yeah, I thought we did a good job. They, they kind of forced you to defend because they checked tight. and. and I think the biggest part was their counterattack. They usually, um, when the puck turns over in, in their end, they, they, they're gone with three guys and usually four guys. So that's where you got to be on your toes and not make sure you give up any odd man numbers. I didn't. Obviously, the goal was um, uh, one of those uh, that we'd like back. But other than that, I didn't feel like we opened up the game or anything like that. I thought we did a decent job.